Okay. So, so you were having kind of physical manifestations of, of this crisis. Let's just keep calling it a crisis. Right. I mean, and, well, I, I have that too. Right. I, uh, instead of like my mind just like blowing up on me, um, I get terrible back cramps. I, um, I, I wake up in the middle of the night and see spiders all over my room, right? Like all those kinds of things, right? And I'm just like, it's fine. I'm just stressed out. It's okay. I'll like take a bath later. Um, and I never deal with like the real issue at hand. And I know I've talked to a lot of other people that have that same problem, right? They have high resilience or something, right? And they can power through, but their bodies just fundamentally break down at some point. And so that happened to you. And then I am trying to figure out how you guided yourself through this. Like, how did you even like do the deconstruction of time thing? Because I think I would have probably just like dorked around on my phone and had a glass of wine. Right? <laughs> or all right. Well, all right. Tell that, me that's it. fair. And, and by the way, I'm just one person that kind of navigated a combination of sort of self-taught things, academically taught things. Well, and you then, were, you, you're a therapist, right? Yeah. So, so, so but, some but, of these but, you know, just like any person on the clinical side, we're always better. I mean, every therapist is great at giving advice to everybody else, you know, following it. Oh, that's another thing. And I, I love it. There's someone I follow on LinkedIn and his like bio is like, I'm a therapist in therapy. Um, I'm, I'm on medication or whatever he is. I, I'm not, but I have no, you know, I have no stigma against that. And, you know, so I'm just a human being and these are my flaws on display here. But, but part of the reason I'm even doing this is because I think we have to start with like, relate crisis in and of itself is something wrong with you and mm. we have to take that away because otherwise you just file against it and you don't actually uh, go through it. that's a good okay. point that's a good point that's a good point so, so yeah so, it's like normal did, but it's also like accept it like this so you jumped in you finally just jumped in but it wasn't over a so the other thing is um realistic expectations so it didn't happen in a day or a week or a month Okay. It took a while. It took a while for me to make changes in my sleeping and eating patterns. And I decided for myself, for, for, for honestly, it, it's not even a sexy, glamorous or um, patent pending uh, idea here. <laughs> it was, I just picked one thing a week to mm. change that I thought I could to celebrate. Cause it was the advice I had given all of these other people all along. And I just, for whatever reason, only knew how to make big goals. Mm. big goals Go well, you've done big, big things so that's big good things. build a business do another thing you know say so, oh we're gonna do a scholarship program I was like five thousand dollars can't we give them a whole scholarship that'll make a difference so I always mm. am like bigger bigger more so that yes that's my personality and I was like why don't I try